After a journey that has taken five months, a pair of historic working boats, gifted to the Shrewsbury and Newport Canal Trust, have finally arrived at Norbury Wharf, ready to be restored to their former glory. The boats, built in 1936 by Harland and Wolfe on the Thames at Woolwich, are Bainton and Birkenstead, a pair of town-class boats that were built to work together from the start. For 15 years, they've not worked at all. They've been tied to the bank of the Grand Union Canal at Weedon near Northampton without moving. Then their owner, Roger White, decided to donate them to the Trust as the best way of ensuring the future of the vessels that he loves. There were just 24 pairs of these boats built and it's little short of amazing that this pair had been brought back together after being scattered across the canal system and are now destined to play a key role in the Canal Trust's plan to restore the Shrewsbury and Newport canals. The original plan was to bring them from Northamptonshire to take pride of place at the Canal Trust's popular annual festival at Norbury Junction in early May. But, as it did with so many things, Covid intervened. The Shrewsbury and Newport Canal Trust team, led by trustee and historic boat fanatic David Ray, managed to get the boats as far as Alvercote near Tamworth before lockdown halted the journey. Then, a few days ago, as August drew to a close, a skeleton crew set out from Alvercote on an ambitious three-day trip to finally get the boats back to Norbury Junction. Where the Shrewsbury and Newport Canal once began its journey westward, by the way, uh, for restoration work to begin. Now, one of that four-man crew was Roger White, the donor, who found himself at the helm of his old boats for the first time in 15 years. With David Ray, David's dad Graham, and another trustee, Phil Jones, the quartet worked the pair through the lock flights and along the Coventry, Trenton Mersey, Staffs and Worcester, and Shropshire Union canals at the height of the holiday season, thrilling many other boaters as they passed. And of course they passed through many holiday hotspots, including Fradley Junction on their first day, after descending the pair of locks at Glasgow. A process that involves for every lock filling and emptying it twice, once for the motor and once for the unpowered butty, with some strenuous bow hauling of the unpowered butty between locks on a flight.
That day two took them Fradley, from Fradley initially to Great Haywood, past the Shugborough Hall estate and once through the lock, making a magnificent sweeping left turn through a narrow bridge and onto the Staffs and Worcester Canal. The sheer number of boats about slowed their progress and they stopped earlier than planned overnight at Penkridge, camping out in the leaky cabins and holds of the old working boats. The final day brought torrential rain as the four men completed the run through the locks of the Staffs and Worcester and brought the pair onto the Shropshire Union Canal at Orderly Junction. Wet, tired and at least four hours behind schedule, the rain turned to drizzle as they entered Nosel through the short rock tunnel south of the village. Even on the final stretch, holiday boats were making steering the working pair interesting to say the least. But the final few miles brought them to Norbury Junction late in the afternoon, happy and rightly pleased with their efforts. For Roger White it was very much a nostalgic journey as he's owned these boats for 43 years and for many years operated them as camping boats for youth groups and others all over the canal system. David Ray a director of Norbury Wharf Limited where the boats will be kept while they're restored and an owner of several historic narrowboats says the plan is to do some checking on the hulls at Norbury Wharf's dry dock and perhaps get some paint applied before the winter. The Canal Trust plans to have teams of volunteers working on the restoration of the boats under expert supervision and then to use them as part of its educational programme which aims to teach youngsters and adults about the history of the Shrewsbury Newport Canal and the working people and boats of the UK's unique canal system. That will delight Roger White who says he wants to make sure the boats are looked after and kept together as an original pair. And he's not just leaving it to chance, he intends to continue playing a part in that process. Was it? I was really enjoying it, yeah. Brought back lots of memories. I bet it did. <laughs> so you're going to come and see them again when they're all restored? Oh no, way before that. Oh right, so you're going to... You won't keep me away. <laughs> <laughs>